Hi and welcome, I'm your host Vedika. Let's begin our video report. In the dramatic realm of international politics, the unfolding rivalry between the United States and Russia has found a new stage, the Middle East. What was once an improbable coexistence between the two military powers has taken a dramatic turn. And the latest message from Russia to the US is anything but subtle. Since their entry into the Syrian conflict, Russia and the US had managed to avoid direct clashes through a combination of diverging objectives and careful deconfliction measures. Russia had thrown its support behind the Assad regime, while the US was determined to combat the rise of ISIS and aid anti-Assad factions. It seemed for a while that both powers were content to focus on their separate battles. But then came the Ukraine war, and the dynamics shifted dramatically. What were once frenemies have now become arc rivals, and the consequences are behind, felt far beyond Europe. The US determined to break Russia has been throwing its weight behind the Ukrainian war efforts, further fueling tensions between the two nuclear powers. Amid this escalating rivalry, the Middle East has become a new battleground. The US is already grappling with rising anti-Western sentiments in nations that were once allies. Iran and Saudi Arabia, in particular, have been vocal about taking action against US military presence in the region. And now Russia seems eager to join the bandwagon. For the first time in years, Russia has directly targeted a US drone. A Russian aircraft fired flares at US MQ-9 drone over Syria, damaging its propeller and putting both US on edge. The incident occurred during a defeat ISIS mission, adding an alarming layer of tension to an already fraught situation. The head of US Air Force's Central, Lieutenant General Alex Grenkevich, minced no words in pointing out Russia's aggressive actions. The Russian fighter aircraft flew dangerously close to the US drone, harassing it with a few meters of separation between the aircraft. Such a reckless display was nothing short of provocative. But this wasn't the first incident of its kind. Just days before, on July 16, Russian military aircraft engaged a US aircraft in Syria in what was deemed an unsafe and unprofessional manner. A US MC-12 operating in support of the coalition's defeat ISIS mission was also forced to navigate through the wake turbulence of a Russian Su-35, further highlighting the escalating tensions in the region. Russia's interests in Middle Eastern nations particularly Saudi Arabia and Iran, are well established. The recent attacks on US assets in the region sent a not-so-subtle message that Russia stands ready to back its allies should the US increase its scrutiny and intervention in the Middle East. The situation is rife with drama and brinkmanship, but it is crucial to remember the potentially catastrophic consequences of any escalation between two nuclear powers. The Middle East is already a volatile cauldron of conflicts and the last thing it needs is the added element of a US-Russia showdown. It is probably better that both of the powers stay calm as the place must not become a new burning battleground as the time is for the stability of the region. It must not ensue into new chaos.